we start everything, we would like to request one of our board members to offer the opening prayer as our tradition in our groups. Is tell Ted Gabriela. Uh, can we please uh, hold hands in hand? Father God, uh, today is a special day for the uh, unveiling of the uh, wall of appreciation of the uh, Filipino community uh, house. I thank you so much, Lord, for everything that you've done in our community, Lord, that you'll always be there first before we go. Lord, thank you so much for everything, and thank you for each and every one of us here. Thank you for your blessing, Lord. Good health and unity, especially for the community, a Filipino community. In Jesus' name we pray, and everybody says, Amen. Amen. <laughs>
composition, the mother, father, and children. At times, however, the composition becomes a three level of three generations, the parents, the children, and grandparents. At times, also, the other scenario, scenario is that there are sometimes nieces and nephews who may be joining the family on simple occasions. For example, if they are studying uh, in the town where the family uh, lives. So it becomes, therefore, an intergenerational and also at the same time a extended family. Now, this Bahay Kubo, this Bahay Kubo, this Philippine community house, more or less typifies or is a typical representation of that kind of relationship that is established within the community. And for that matter, we congratulate, and I don't want to use the word keep congratulating, gradually, but I give my felicitation to the group of uh, Rudy, uh, Ellie, um, Ted, Ted uh, pa, mga? Bonnie. Bonnie, thank you. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, Mike, Mike uh, Linda, Edwina, Edwina, uh, Jay, Gary, Gary, and more. Etc. 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 Now, for that matter, I believe that all these people must really be given a big hand for giving this occasion a very symbolic <laughs> representation of the kind of leadership that they have, and also providing the basic services that our community needs. I speak on behalf of the Philippine ambassador. I mentioned this to her, and uh, she gives her regards and wishes to you as representative of the Philippine government in South Australia. Congratulations to you, Rudy. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. So I become a politician today, <laughs> and thank you very much. Oh, by the way, before I do that, uh, please welcome the new president of uh, Radio Filipino. <laughs> And the vice president, and look there, I'm holding that. Radio Filipino was established in 1978, the first ever all over Australia, all over the Australia in Filipino. So that's uh, another milestone for us joining the Bahay Kubo sa family, bayanihan sa Bahay Kubo. Salamat po. Thank you. And look, firstly, can I apologise for being here a little late, but as you can appreciate, I have a very full day of engagements today because I have to go back to Canberra again tomorrow. I arrived only last night and I'm trying to fit everything in that I have to do. But it's good to see Councillor Betty Gill here, who is also part of this very local community, having represented it on Council for a long, long time. But um, I'm pleased to be able to drop in short uh, for a short time and... Uh, and touch base with the Filipino community here because, um, look, over the years I have uh, worked very closely with and been supportive of many of the initiatives of the Filipino community here in Adelaide and, uh, um, and hopefully um, as we look back on the years it, it, be, we can say that the Filipino community is much more settled today than it was years ago. And, uh, and, I, and I think that that is, can I say, as a direct result of the efforts of your community who have actually initiated projects, initiated contact with government, initiated projects that have uh, brought about greater recognition of the Filipino community um, in South Australia and I commend everyone for being involved in that way. I'm sorry I wasn't here for the official unveiling of, of the wall but uh, I guess that will serve for a long time to come as testimony to those people who came together to Bring, to bring not only the state together, but who have contributed towards what I call the buildings of the foundations of the Filipino community here in South Australia. And to each and every one who was involved in this, congratulations and well done. Thank you. We will unveil the uh, wall of appreciation to those Filipinos and friends who help us to make these things possible. Kundol patola, 
Sa kamay rumpang, laban us mustasa, si Puyas kama.